I'm ready to go. I got my map. I got my checklist. Which way do I go, boss? You got to see that what you saw on the map matches up with the facts on the ground. Your first clue could be right under your feet. Okay, now I'm gonna dig a hole here and the water level is down about 10 inches and still rising. That's a sure sign of wetland hydrology. It's a direct primary indicator of wetland hydrology. Dig a hole, see water, you got yourself a wetland, right? Not if the soil is sandy. Water will just quickly drain away, but it will leave behind evidence it's been there. Anybody can dig a hole in the ground, take out a sample of soil, and take a look at it. Uh, one of the clues that you can tell is when you have a, a wet soil, you can actually feel that it's wet at certain times of the year. Sometimes you can squeeze the water right out of it. It's uh, oftentimes very dark. Um, and if you go onto a, a drier site, you can see the soil is much looser. It's dry. Uh, it's a, a different color. It's not the black or the very dark brown in the surface that you see uh, the wet soil. Color's a really important clue. Ooh, CSI. Some other clues over here are the water marks on the trees, and you can see those on all of these trees in here. They show where the water was during the spring. In addition, if you look at some of these trees over here, they're very desperately trying to look like cypress trees. In other words, the flaring out or the spreading at the bottom. There's no vegetation here. Um, that's because the water levels are up too long uh, in the spring, so nothing can grow here and by the time the water levels go down, this woods is completely shaded and so there's not any light penetration down to the ground and subsequently you don't see uh, a lot of vegetation growing here. Certain plants on a property almost always indicate that there's a wetland, like these. And these types of trees are other shore beds. Black what? Silver who? Don't worry if you didn't get those. They're on the website too. So do you have any of those plants? Hmm? How about watermarks on trees? I don't know. Squishy spots? That I do have. If you have any of these clues, water-loving plants, evidence of water, squishy ground, you may be the proud owner of a wetland. But to be sure, you need to call in a professional. A professional to do what? To do stuff like this. First of all, they have to determine where the wetland boundary may be. They be, will be walking lines perpendicular to where they think the boundary is and establishing points along those lines where they will be taking samples of vegetation. They'll be looking for hydrology signs and they'll also be looking for um, these wet soils. At the end, they will be developing a report um, which includes the maps, a description of how they did the, uh, the work and uh, the data forms that they used. This is a step you really want to do. You need to know exactly where the wetland is and how much of your land you can build on. Right on, you've convinced me. So where can I find a wetland professional? I suggest you check the DNR's website for a list of highly rated experts and advice on hiring one. You can also look in the yellow pages or search the internet under environmental services and find a wetland professional there.